How's it going everyone? It's Low Heat. Today I'm making a bit using some new gear that I got. The Behringer Pro One, aka the Bro One. Super nice for bass lines. I got a super sweet glockenspiel as well. I'm gonna record some percussion too and you know use the push to the complete control S49. Make a quick beat in Ableton, sharing my process. Hope you enjoyed and let's get right into the video. Okay, so I've set the tempo at 92, let me record some drums. Let me just edit this slightly, just to make them a little tighter. Okay, so I've got my mic connected to input number two of my audio interface. I'm gonna record some. I've got this soft shaker here. I think it will sound great. Okay, now some cowbell thing. Okay, maybe a tambourine over the beat would, would sound great. Maybe the last two bars would do, maybe I would just drag it slightly because it was a bit late. I will pan the shaker and the tambourine to the opposite side so that they don't interfere with each other. Add some reverb to the cowbell. I've got the RC48, the soft chip reverb from Native Instruments on my return track. Okay, so I've got the Pro 1 setup on track 1. I've got the external instrument sending MIDI to that and receiving audio from input number 4 where I've got it connected. I just got this new analog synth yesterday, I'm just testing it out, sounds super cool. Let's hear it, I think it's gonna do a great job for a bass line. So I'm working on a sample pack and I've got some melodic loops that, I'm, that I wanna try. I've actually got a chords and melodic loops pack on my website, you can check it out from the links down in the description. But this new pack, when I finish it, it's gonna be dope, I promise. And let's hear some loops that I've got there. I'm gonna try to start with the loops. Okay, so let's test this one out. I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm gonna use the beat mode. I'm gonna add the warping so it's automatically stretched to the tempo of my beat. Okay, I'm gonna try the gate mode so that it only plays while I'm holding the pad. I'm 
going over to the Pro one for the bass. So the sample is in G minor, so I'm going to play something. G, okay, 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 okay. Let's first check if it's in tune, because and I've got the tuner loaded all the time when I'm using this, because analog synth they can get out of tune or in tune depending on the room temperature. So let's let's see what what's going on with that. this last note, maybe make it longer so it matches the sample. I'm gonna try to record another version of the bass. I'm gonna keep the first one and but maybe I'm gonna use the second one for a part B I don't know let's see what's what's gonna happen uh, I'm gonna load a roads patch from my Ableton Live pack synth hop essentials again check it out from the link in the description if you haven't checked it out already some very useful presets in that Okay, let's let's add some glocking spiel action. Okay, setting up another track to record with the mic. Wow, okay, I mean let's hear it. Ah uh, yeah. Turn it up a bit maybe. Not bad, not bad. Maybe I will just EQ it a bit better. Okay, let's do some lead again from the Synth Hop Essentials pack.
Okay, this one, the last four bars, I think these are nice. Just gonna side chain the lead and I think it's gonna sound nicer. I'm gonna just side chain the the glocking spiel as well. I'm just gonna insert the Valhalla super massive before the side chain compressor. I'm just gonna turn down the reverb that I added from the return track. So thank you so much for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed this beat making session. Check out this video for more similar sessions and see you in the next one.